That's just what gangsters. I apologize because I look kind of yellow and I'm not really yellow in real life. I'm actually very melaninated. You guys know how natural light does. But yeah, this is the Ultra Aerial wig. And I purchased this wig from sisterwigs.com as I usually purchase most of my synthetic wigs just because I've not really liked their their website and I really like their customer service and I don't have to keep mentioning that you get your shipping fast and this wig was under $20 it's very affordable and if you want to purchase it you can or if you just want to look through their site you can just go ahead and click on the link below now the packaging may look different from the hair that I review just because I tend to buy more natural colors and things like that so this is how it look when you look up this wig or search it on Google or whatever this time I really wanted to get the color 1B for some reason just because like I don't know I just wanted 1B and it was sold out so that just goes to show you like god knows what i really really want i say what i want but he knows what i want so i see this wig all the time on youtube but but usually when i see it on youtube i always see people wear it in a bun and bang so it's like a cute little messy bun something to look effortless you know oh i'm just going to the store i'm just running a class whatever but it kind of had me questioning why they keep wearing it like that i'm like why do y'all keep wearing it like that why don't y'all wear it down and i got it for the purpose of wearing it down but now that i've had the wig for a couple days and i've had some trial with it i kind of see what's going on and what what this wig got really going on i knew it was not going to be silky texture or anything like the texture of the Yara wig I, I recently reviewed. I knew it was going to be more of a yakky texture and I like that about the hair because it kind of looked more natural than me having like a silky weave. But I didn't think that would look good with colored and it being synthetic so that's why I didn't get it in a color. I just feel like a natural color for this wig especially is good i thought it was going to be a lot fuller to me this wig isn't as full as i thought it would be and when i watch reviews they didn't i don't think i heard them mention if it was full but it's not a lot this is majority of the hair brought to the front this is how much i have in the back if you want it to look full in pictures and stuff you're literally gonna have to bring it all to the front and i don't really like that i like my hair full i like my hair big and i don't like having that you know that whatever thing i like to just have full hair so i can have some hair in the back some hair in the front because if i wanted more hair to the front i would have got a bob is that so i'm not really a fan of the thickness of the hair so maybe that's why people keep wearing it in a bun when i first got the hair it was very long and in my face and this is the type of texture that hurts like when it's in your eyes it feels like prickly little little specks like it hurts it feels like straw it's not smooth or silky hair so it doesn't feel good when it's in your eyes so you're gonna have to cut it and you can like move the wig up and down if you want to but I like I like my bangs to be a little bit low like I like low bangs covering my eyes kind of but not to the point where it's hurting me and not to the point where I cannot see so I did cut these bangs but when I cut them I realized like oh dang I kind of messed up the the bump situation they had with the wig when I originally bought it so I cut it and I tried to fringe it out so when you want to fringe bangs you basically cut upwards and that's how you get them to look more fringed and not as blunt so you guys know it's hard to cut synthetic hair but I ended up doing that and then I was like okay let me try to get the bump back into the hair y'all when I put heat on this hair it literally melted like I watched the fibers melt it says that it can take heat up to 400 degrees I put it at 300 but I should have put it lower than that like lower than that it burnt the hair so i had to cut it a little bit more i'm not using the combs in this wig right now just for that sole purpose because i have to pull my wig down a little bit so the bangs look longer i emailed um sister wigs customer service and they emailed me back the same day she let me know that she can't do anything about it and that it's basically my fault i didn't feel like i put excessive amount of heat on it what i noticed is that the bang texture was a lot coarser and hard to flat iron than the rest of the hair like i don't know if you guys can see in this that the bang doesn't really lay down anymore or i revived the hair and kind of got it back to where it was was i just took some conditioner a very very cheap conditioner the vo5 conditioner from dollar store i took that conditioner coated the hair with it i added some fabric softener and i let it sit overnight so i let this wig literally soak the entire night because if you don't is it might still be hard and everything also what i noticed when i was washing the hair is that it kind of tangles and gets like nappy while you're washing it so it's hard to like run your fingers through it you kind of got to just let the product sit and rinse it out to put it on the mannequin head to kind of also help shape the bangs so as i was brushing it it was like on the mannequin forehead you know being shaped out and then i just 
let the hair dry outside and it dried pretty fast it does dry very fast and the rest of the hair still feels very soft my bangs do feel softer but i think i might have to soak it like one more time to get it back to where it was when i originally purchased it i kind of feel like i purchased cheap human hair so like we kind of expect more from synthetic wigs now in 2017 than we did back in like the 2000s and stuff because wigs were like shiny and just not cute and everybody knew you had a synthetic wig on but i really kind of expected more from this wig and instead of feeling like i got like a virgin hair dupe or whatever i felt like i purchased this milky way pack hair and made a weave out of it like a sew-in bangs weave like i used to do in high school and i don't like that feeling like this hair tangles a lot it does shed like when you wash it you're gonna get shedding so i also had to trim the ends to make them look nice this is how the ends are looking and they're not as bumped before but as you can see the hair is not that flowy this wig is okay do I feel like you have to go out and buy this wig? No. But if you really want some bangs, like they have other wigs. I haven't um, looked at the reviews, but if you really want some bangs and you like this texture, then I think it's manageable if you don't put heat on it. Um, I just did it. I guess I just wasn't thinking. I usually don't instantly go and put heat on wigs, but I don't know what I was thinking. I just feel like that's why they just wear it in a bun situation. I don't know. Like, I i feel like people know i have on a synthetic wig with the fact that it's not full i just feel like you either have to wear it back and keep it back like this or up in a bun or just take like a couple of strands to the front or like one side or something try to style it but and i'm not blaming the company i purchased the wig from i feel like maybe i just got a bad wig i usually like play with them a little bit like this just so they can look a little bit more effortless and just kind of like you know chill or whatever might get a better wig than i did just please don't put heat on it and be careful when you're cutting the bang the hair can't grow back so if you cut too short then you just cut too short so yeah that's my review on this wig i hope you guys like the review i was I feel like I was pretty honest with this wig. Do I feel like you gotta get the wig? No, you could save your $15 and spend it on food, to be honest. But yeah, I hope you guys like this video. If you want more hair reviews from me, just leave like the hair that you want me to try down below and I will see what I can do about that. And yeah, 